Happy Pentecost. I wanted to sing, but I'm feeling like Spirit of God is sent and manifest your power. Spirit of God is sent and manifest your power. Spirit of God is sent and manifest your power. Spirit of God is sent and manifest your power. Spirit of God is sent and manifest your power. Spirit of God is sent and manifest your power. Holy Spirit is sent and manifest your power. Holy Spirit descend and manifest your power. Spirit of God descend and manifest your power. Spirit of God descend and manifest power. Holy Spirit descend. And manifest your power, Holy Spirit descend. And manifest your power, power of God descend. And manifest your power, healing of God descend. And manifest your power. Our wisdom of God is sent. Manifest your our piety of God is sent. Manifest your our courage of the Lord is sent. And manifest your our the love of God is sent. Manifest your power, the joy of God is sent. And manifest the power, the life of God is sent. And manifest your power, the light of God is sent. And manifest your power, wisdom of God is sent. Manifest your power, the joy of God is sent. Manifest your power, healing of God is sent. Manifest your power, the joy of God is sent. Manifest your power, the power of God is sent. Manifest your power, the Spirit of God is sent. Oh, Spirit of God is sent. Oh, Spirit of God is sent. Manifest your power, the Spirit of God is sent. And manifest your power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This will be the last time you will hear after the mass. They say, go in peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then we respond, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the Pentecost is the closing of the Easter tide. And it is the beginning of the new church. The Pentecost is the celebration of the descent of the Holy Spirit. 2,000 years among the apostles, there were about 120 in the upper room. The Pentecost is more 
than the celebration of a past event. This Pentecost is the celebration of a promise. The Pentecost is the realization of that promise in my life. The Pentecost is the activation, the active presence of God in the life of the church. The Pentecost is the gift of the Holy Spirit given to me, to us, to humanity, to the whole earth. Amen. Amen. The Pentecost is indeed the fulfillment of the prophecies of the Old Testament. The prophet Joel, in chapter 2 of his book, he spoke with the mouth of the Lord and said, On these days, they shall receive the Spirit. Every flesh shall receive a flesh, a, a, the Spirit. All flesh. All flesh. How many? All. Are you among all? Yes. I am, am, I, am I among all? Yes. This means all flesh. And we heard in the gospel, when Jesus came to his disciples, to his apostles, gathered in the synagogue together with Mary, he wished them peace, and he said some words. He said, receive. What? Receive. Jesus is, or is fulfilling the promise. Remember before he left in John 14, 18, he said, I am not going to leave you alone, orphans. I, I will come back to you. And when I come back to you, I will go to the Father and I will send you the paraclete, the defender, the Holy Spirit, the companion, the counselor, the comforter, the advisor, the advocate, the one who will lead, the one who will guide, the one who will strengthen you when you are weak. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is the fulfillment of the resurrection. If there is no Holy Spirit, then we might just say the resurrection, yes, but how will we really understand the revelation, the resurrection? Because it is the Holy Spirit who is going to reveal the full truth about the truth itself. Who is the truth? It is Jesus. Hallelujah. If the Holy Spirit does not come, we will not understand Jesus. The church will not be able to preach. The church will not be able to expound. The church will not be able to stand. The church will not prevail. Amen. I need the Holy Spirit. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Every now I need you. My own defense, my righteousness, Oh God, how I need you. One more. Lord, I need you. How I need you. Every now. My one defense, my one defense, my righteousness, my righteousness, oh God, how I need you. We need him. This is the gracious gift of God to all flesh. This is the gracious gift of God 
He's called the Holy Spirit. But we know, as we have heard in the, throughout the readings, that we're not always living under the influence of the Holy Spirit. Do we? No. We don't always live under the influence of the Holy Spirit. It happens also that there is another type of spirit that exists. And that's why we need to discern at every moment, at every time, what kind of spirit is leading our lives. <laughs> this is a question I should ask myself. What spirit? Is the spirit that is in me really holy? How do I know the spirit that is in me is holy? I need to follow the movement of my emotions, the movement of my feeling, the movement of my inspirations, and even how I reach out to others. St. Paul tells us in Romans that what is of the flesh is of the flesh, and he produces what? Those kind, those activities of the flesh. This will be bad thoughts. Have you ever thought something bad in your life? Does that happen? That sometimes we think some bad things. Have you ever been angry in your life? Do you feel sometimes like sad? I don't know. Sometimes I do. I wonder about you. Have you ever felt sad in your life? Do you? Have you? Oh. And then... Sometimes we don't have always good emotions, right? And sometimes we, just don't, we don't just feel like doing the right things that we wish to do. We want to do good. We don't want to do this thing. We don't we want to watch pornography. We don't want to watch bad stuff. And we don't even want to go into that kind of, I don't know what is happening and at times then we feel like we are entangled between that spirit and trying to be good, right? Paul speaks of, in, to the Galatians, he speaks of the fruits. The Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God has got fruits, like every tree. Because he has give, the Holy Spirit comes with how many gifts that we know? How many gifts do we know from the Holy Spirit? Seven. Can we count some of them? Yes. Wisdom. Wisdom. I can not hear anything at all. We look like uh, le, le. wisdom. Yes, I have heard wisdom coming very clearly. This side, we said wisdom. This side, I know you are alpha people. Wow. Wow. Wisdom. I only heard wisdom. The rest of the things there, I'm not... I'm not I, yeah? Understanding. Understanding, yes, too. Sorry? Piety. Piety, yes? This side, let's get there. Uh, another gift of the Holy Spirit. We said wisdom, understanding, piety already. Oh my God, this side. Not yet. We know haven't reached. Not yet. We're getting there. These are oh, not yet. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We need to get back all of them to catechism class. But we going <laughs> all of them to the catechism class. Back to the catechism class today. <laughs> today, all of us, we are going back to the, to the, 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 the center. All of us after this mass. <laughs> yes. We said already wisdom. We fear of the Lord, that's great. There, wisdom, we have understanding, piety, um, uh, uh, fear of the Lord, and then? 
Reverence is the same, same like fear of the Lord. Co so what did he say? Counsel, yes. I'm there. That's God. Counsel. Knowledge. Now you are coming. Where were you before? Where have you been? Where have you been? Yes. Yeah. Counsel, knowledge, piety, courage, understanding, fortitude, and then the fear of the Lord. And these are the, the, the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Like a tree, they now need to bear fruit. And that's what Paul is telling us in the letter to the Galatians. That the one who is led by the Spirit of God, he has received the gift of God and he's now going to bear fruit. And what you were naming here is what we call the, the fruits of the Holy Spirit. How many of them? We call 12 of them, like uh, according to that's, what, that's uh, mainly what the catechism is telling us, there are 12. So the 12, we can just name what you, what you remember, that's where we come with kindness, peace, joy, love, <laughs> ah, la, 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 la. <laughs> Self-control, kindness, generosity, then all this, all of the like. You are no goodness, magnanimity, faithfulness, joy, peace. And you know, these are now, when you are under that in, the influence of the Holy Spirit, you feel the joy in your life. You feel always like you want to welcome people. You are always open. You are always joyful. You are always happy. You, you, you don't discriminate anybody. You see everybody like Christ. And everything begins with love. The basis is love. And then the Holy Spirit is now going to be able to, get, to be the guide of your life. How is he? He shows you, he teaches you the paths to take. Which path shall I take today? Which one shall I not take? So my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, the Holy Spirit is our daily companion. Let us open our ears. Let us open our hearts. Our ears in order to listen to him and our hearts so that we can love him because he's the source of love. And he loves us because the love of God has been poured into our heart through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So come, Holy Spirit. Fill our hearts. Come, Holy Spirit. Enlighten us. So glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.